Hello everybody, my name is Katem welcome back for another video of Red Dead Redemption 2. We're gonna continue this series. Um, right now, we are at the docks of Saint Denis, just trying to figure out what we have to do, really. Hey We've got like three missions to do, but they're all about bon uh, Dante or something. Or ba Bronte, I don't know how to say his name. It's the guy that basically got the child we're looking for. So we're looking for uh, the kid in Saint Denis. So I'm, uh, we just started a new chapter, I guess, and this is going to be our new uh, our new chapter. Is it going to be in the town in itself or this, in the city the entire time? Probably. It will probably be, you guys. So let's see how it's going to go. The first things first. I want to look at the uh, not not that I don't want to change the cameras. There we go. I want to look at, uh, I'm doing the wrong settings. There we go. The map. So we've got three missions. One in the saloon. One over here and one over there. So I guess we just have to ask around uh, to a bunch of people where they might, we might find Angelo Bronte. Okay, so just ask a bunch of questions. We're going to go there first since it's the closest location. I feel like we have, we're going to have maybe more chance over there. I feel maybe the saloon's gonna have a better chance, but we'll we'll go there anyways. We'll go in that first direction first. Yep. You gotta be careful there. I killed someone by accident. <laughs> did, did not want to do that. I don't want to be researched here. I don't want to be searching Saint Denis. I don't have time for that. I know how many cops there is in here. Uh, how tough it is to actually uh, stay alive and get away from this place. I robbed so many times. I tried to rob so many times this place. But we got uh, someone right here that might tell us. There we go. There it is. Someone that might have information for us. So let's just see what it is. Is that the sheriff's? Or that's not the sheriff's. What is this place? Oh, hold on now. Cowboy. <laughs> Dutch. Real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here and on. All right, then. The saloon. Okay, this is a saloon. What about the other place? The other place was... Oh, it's kind of a bar for gentlemen. It's a saloon nonetheless. They just call it a bar because it's for gentlemen, I guess. That's interesting. All right, then. Bartender. I got something I need to ask you really, really, really quick. Well, I'll get you in a second. Not unless we all get washed away. All right, we gotta wait for the bartender here. This is a nice place, actually. I think I saw a lot of people playing poker in here, so it's probably that table right there where you can go eventually and play poker all the time, which should be, could be very interesting if you ask me. Can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, why not? Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. All right, then. Two dollars for whiskey. What is this ridiculous thing? Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Well, they don't want none of it, I guess. Bronte? Hold on now. Who are you? Hello, Bronte. Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss, big. And he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally, a cocksucker. <sighs> You know what I mean, friend? Where I guess, you? maybe. Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know how I get. Okay. 
Well, well, well. We already know what we needed to know, guys. That was very quick, actually. Very quick. We didn't have to do too much. There are kids in the alleys, huh? Just gotta talk to them. Oh, watch out. Watch out. Didn't know there was like two saloons in there or something. So, apparently we've got uh, kids we got to watch out for. There it is right there. My, they might have some information hey. for us. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. Italian. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Here, come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? I don't trust these kids, guys. But I have to do it. Five dollars, man. Five dollars for for him to just take me here. He just made money big time for a kid. It's funny, though. It doesn't really matter anymore for me because I got all the money in the world. I'm not even using it anymore. I don't have to, like, use it or anything. Maybe for a horse eventually I tried to get a horse maybe in this one this town this, I, I tried to go in this town for the horse and they didn't have any new ones so I couldn't buy any look I'm not looking for the church and I don't want none of nothing to I don't want to learn anything about France I know plenty already I just need to meet Angelo Bronte my guy Look at them fine Motherfucker. I knew it! Get back in here before I shoot you! Motherfucker! Where are you going? Where do you think you're going? No, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. No, 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 no. And uh, just enter the tramway for God's sake. What are you doing, Arthur? All I had to do was enter the tramway. Mother! I can't actually shoot at him because I was aiming at him. I can't shoot at him, so might as well. There we go. God damn, I can't kill him. I just gotta follow him. And hope for the best. Hope that I've got enough stamina on my hand of things. All right, all right, he's not getting away, guys. He's not getting away. You give that back. Little bitch. Oh. You're not stealing my things. Oh. Get back in here. Watch out, guys. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is this mofo? He's right there. He's right there. I would have asked for the strangers, but I got a feeling he was right there anyways. There was a big spot, a big yellow spot, so it was kind of obvious. I feel like it's kind of a track. Mother... Just... No, don't... Oh my god. Just kick the damn door. There we go. Arthur. Come on now. Yeah, he's leading me to someone. He's probably leading me to Angelo when you think about it. You know what? He's probably leading me to Angelo. Otherwise, he would already be gone, guys. I'm taking so long to catch up to him. He's just waiting for me to catch up. So, obviously, it's a trap. Obviously, he wants me to uh, follow him. It's like an Assassin's Creed thing. It's obvious, guys. Alright, my guy. Just leave me be already. Where's Angelo? Give me my pocket back. Where is he? Oh boy. He's probably in there. Yeah, he's right there. He's right there. Yeah. I knew I was gonna find him. Oh fuck. Are you serious? What the hell? Alright. That's enough already. Just give me what I want. What is, what is this? I knew it, Hello, man. Friend? Knew it was a trap. Give me my things, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but 
That kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. The kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. Now, <laughs> come on. You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why he gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yoko. Now, get out of here. Is this a trick? They just told me where to find him. This is a big trap, boys. Just want us to get killed. If it's a trap, if they are lying to me, I'm gonna come back in here. I know where you are now. Right by the posters, right there. I know where you are, kids. You can't... You can't escape from me. Is that my horse? I think it is. Uh, it probably is. No, it's not actually my horse, but oh well. I stole one. Doesn't matter, right? Just need to go see uh, Dutch. There's so many people right now in this place. I just need to go see Dutch at the saloon, I guess. We know where Bronte is now. Which is... Uh, I don't know if it's a good thing or not. Because I got a feeling they're just... They're gonna try to... Screw us over or something. That was just a trap telling us all that. Bonjour, monsieur. We'll see. Alright, Dutch. Are you in the saloon or are you at the, uh, like, around the saloon or something? I don't know if he's... I don't think he is there. Where is he? What? Oh, right there. Alright, Dutch. You look fine on this evening. Uh, it's looking like a nice day right here. Bunch of children. I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently he lives in a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Ah, good work. What now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know. And far from real open country. Well, that you say, I guess. We've got three missions from what it looks like that we can do now. Um... One of them is Dutch, which we see right here. Hold on, these missions are really long way. Actually, it's just two missions. Another one is just Lenny. We, uh, no, Leopold Tra Strauss. Oh, it's one of his uh, contracts and everything. That's why I, I do that on my own free time. So we go back to our camp and Mary has something for us. Mary Beth. Someone I don't really know who she is. Guess we never really saw her name or anything. We're gonna go to Dutch first. Seems like it's a really the most important mission we gotta do. And afterwards we'll just go talk to I guess Mary and stuff. If we have time that is. That first mission was pretty long. So we'll see how it goes. I'm excited to see what is gonna happen with uh, Angelo Bronte right here. Did I, did I just do that guys? This game is full of weird physics. What the hell? My horse, look at him. Horsey, what are you doing? Come back up. Let's go. 
That was ridiculous. The physics of this game sometime. Alright, let's go. Just gotta go out to dodge already. All these tramways are getting in the way too. That's the the one thing that's throwing me off. I did go to the picture thing and that's actually just us taking a portrait of ourselves. I don't know if I can't do any if I can actually do anything with the the, the portraits. It's just like the selfies. I don't know what to do with those once you take them. How do you go back and watch them? I guess I don't like not really really familiar with all that. Anyways, we're getting close to Dutch right here. Nice park. All right, what's your uh, mission, guy, uh, buddy? What do you want me to do next? There you are. If it uh, isn't John. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just these some slick little greasy-haired European clearly got power and money. Now listen. If we go in there, start shooting up the place, boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, he's gonna have a lot of protection. No one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm him. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Oh my me, guys. Was just adjusting my settings right there. That's why I stopped. I was just making sure that the, uh, the sound for the video was uh, cool and all. So this is where he is. Right in the middle of this, uh, the city. Give me the keys already so we can go in. We are here to see Angelo Bronte. Got business to attend to. Don't hold, uh, hold, don't hold back on us. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Look at these guys. They got some nice costumes in here. It's city time, so they all look pretty nice. It's just John that uh, looks like shit. Compared to both of us. Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers it ain't got nothing to do with any one of us you had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business we was innocent bystanders and that which we were an innocent of well we we most surely were ignorant of you know you you twist words you lie shamelessly you think you are better than everyone else Diodoro. <laughs> That's a very steep woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur. <laughs> the pleasure is mine. John Marsh. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> But... Uh, 
Should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Of course I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Linde, huh? you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Hopefully, Dutch is going to be fine, guys. Hopefully, it's not a trap to just leave him in here. Come on. Because clearly now he knows who the leader is. I mean, he knows that Dutch is the leader. Something happens to Dutch, man. I'm going to become the new leader for sure, but I don't want anything to happen to Dutch. He's a cool guy. I don't know, guys. I don't feel right about leaving him alone in the house against all these goons with their guns and stuff. I mean, he could defend himself, but like shoot two or three people, but... There's way they, more than two or three people in there, that's for sure. He's not, he's got no chance, he's surrounded, so... I don't know. Hopefully he can bullshit his, out his way out of here, like he always does. Let's just uh, go find that, uh, go do that mission for Angelo, and hopefully he's gonna g actually give us the kid afterwards. Which I really doubt it's the case, it's just gonna probably give us an information about where he is. I doubt he's in the city itself. I'm just gonna equip my the the right guns. So that's a bolt action. What about the cattleman revolver? That was not good. And I want the shotgun first off. And bolt action. No, no, no. Okay, whatever. Just gonna look. The ones that uh, have gold on it are the ones that have been like upgraded and stuff. So caravan repeater. Carbine repeaters, Springle. I think it's the carbine repeater that I upgraded. Yes, it is. That's the one. All right. You can basically see wh which one I upgraded by seeing all the gold in my uh, my guns. So right. clearly, we know which one or they are. Let's go. Just wanted to get the right guns, the auto and stuff. Let's find him and get the hell out of here. Okay, grave robbers, huh? We just gotta find them, kill them, hide them somewhere, I guess? We're in the c cemetery, so... Hopefully you find them somewhere. There's a dog in here. There's someone in here. There's, yeah, they're right there. Source of disturbance. That where it is? What is this? Are you okay, dog? Hey there, boy. Was just the dog doing a bunch of idiot stuff. He found a he found a a bone or something. Alright. Gotta keep looking. There's gotta be something. Or well, there's something right here. Is that it? Is that what we're looking for here? Oh, uh, sorry. Oh my god. It's not. Yeah, sure, whatever. If you say so. Alright. I'll check this way. Just gotta be a way. They're, where where are they? God damn. Let me actually just pull out my revolver right here because I'm not confident. There's something right here, guys. Oh there it is. 
Well, that was obvious. There's obviously gunshots right here, so that was kind of obvious. You ready, John? That... What is this? They were ready for us. Where are you now? There we go. You're not. They were clearly ready for us, that's for sure. Where are they? Okay, I can't I can't see them. Let me just there we go. They're all dead, it looks like. Is that it? We sure picked the right knife for it. Let's stay on them, come on. Oh, there's more? Okay. There's more, so John is actually killing all of them. John is like doing a cleanup right now. Don't even have time to shoot all of them. Jesus. Okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. No, you don't. What the? What was that? There we go. He's dead. Yeah, John is doing a cleanup. He's doing a better job than me at shooting people right now. Which is crazy. Hang on, there's someone behind you. You got him? Good. Yeah, John is doing great. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty-handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robin and grave robbers. We've hit the big time. So we gotta rob them? Alright then. Let's let's go do whatever it is we're doing here. What were they robbing exactly? Check that spot where it all kicked off. What is all this? They were looking for something here. Something here. Is that some money and stuff? Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Something tells me there's... The, yeah. Something tell, told me that there was going to be more people in here. I feel like we just got to get out of the cemetery. We'll have to go back the way we came. No way. You kidding me? What do you mean? You're, you're kidding me right now. Alright, I've got my gun. Oh, shit. These are probably the cops too, so I, you don't want to be... Wa I don't want to be searched. There's someone coming. Hide. Trying, man. I'm trying to hide. Are they going to see us or something? Man, I don't like this. Those cops now. Now we gotta hide from them. We got this, guys. They're not gonna see us. They want me to be stealthy. That's never gonna work. You already know I'm the worst at stealth. You good? We just have to follow John, basically. John knows what he's doing. You good? Alright, we're good. Let's follow him. All right, John, I'm following you. I'm following your lead, buddy. This, there was a cop right there. He didn't see us. Better know where you're doing, what you're doing, and where you're going. We're good. We're good. We're good. There's a cop right there. We're doing good, boys. We're doing good so far. Following his lead, so he knows where he's going, basically. Alright, let's go. We're going towards there. Getting out of here. We're good. Let's get my gun out. Let's get the hell out of here. Go, go back to Bronte. Tell him that the job is done. Hopefully, Dutch is fine as well. And we won't have any problems. Here it is. This house. We've got the horse of uh, Dutch. Right here. Hopefully Dutch is fine, guys. I'm... Re I don't know why. I'm really worried about Dutch. I'm really worried about him. I just don't feel like it's right. Just leaving in here. There's the guy. There's a little kid. He's good. 
Hey, friend. Uh, thank you Mr. Bronte you for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur. Mr. That was too easy. Invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. Garden party. And us, just simple country boys. That's crazy. It can't be that easy to just make friends with someone like Angelo Brown. I can't believe. No, I can't believe Dutch is that much of a bullshitter, guys. He can't possibly have bullshitted his uh, entire life out of Angelo Bronte and tell. Like, I don't know, made friends out of him. I. I don't know, guys. Feel like that's a little bit too much there. This is obviously something missing right here. It's a bigger plan ahead of us. We got you, your son, everything. We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> it's how <laughs> Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? <sighs> so. Well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is uh, quite a character. Is he now? Do you ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. <laughs> well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys! We got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back. <laughs> well, the boys say thank goodness. Maybe thank you, Arthur. I'm... I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Total take, there we go. So how much money we made? 112. That's interesting. See, John, I like how Abigail just basically went full on, uh, I don't forgive you, uh, John, and everything, but she could have forgot, uh, forgave him. I mean, I'm the type of guy to forgive people. John made a mistake. Yes, it's a skid but, and everything, but it's a, a simple mistake, you know. Happens. Uh, well, Wild West as well, it happens a lot often, uh, more often than you think. I just feel like she should have gave him a chance or something to explain. How are you doing, Molly? Should I like Molly a lot? If there would be a girlfriend for Arthur in this game, I would like it to be uh, um, um, Molly. She's really cool and all. She's a perfect... Cowboy girl, cowgirl type of uh, person for Arthur. Keep him in straight, boys. So we do have a mission going on, I believe. But there's like some chance in here. Everybody's drinking. Everybody's with each other. So I'm thinking the mission's kind of done. I don't have time for another mission. I'm thinking I'd maybe stay with them. Is that Spanish? What the hell? The word Spanish, I guess. I'm gonna stay there, guys. That was pretty nice. That was pretty interesting. It's nice to see the camp so far like this and who is this guy like Kyrian there's some people I we never saw before they're right there we never saw them we never saw anything about them what about this what is this right here that's just beer yeah that's just uh oh and yeah there's a le all right guys I'm gonna have to let the video go I hope you guys enjoyed the video I'm gonna see you guys in the next one remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video 
Keep it easy.